Mark Rubin is back responding to tweets and has mentioned changes to the spider bot possibly coming involving a possible EMP or stun type of effect. Kill cams, search and destroy mode which is being finished due to spectator camera which will also be a big part of kill cams being implemented as well as more. Mark has been in Florida visiting his mother who is 92 years old which has to be rough living in California being all the way across the country with a sick parent. Family is definitely priority number one at the end of the day. Having the recent Ubisoft layoffs occur along with the undertaking of implementing a bunch of things on the fly has to be a challenge. After finishing such a thing there's still a wait on approval from PlayStation and Xbox. Doing a little googling I found some net income charts from Ubisoft proving some of my suspicions right. In fiscal year 2022-2023 Ubisoft was in a deficit of 494.7 million euros. This was their worst year in the history of the company financially. This is due to the increased cost of creating games making them harder to recoup on, cancelled games, increased cost of living in places like San Francisco and really anywhere in general these days as well as other factors. Rainbow Six Extraction was one game I suspect underperformed and costed a decent amount to develop only to wind up indefinitely halting development. Looking at the Steam charts the peak numbers were only 2300 which is only Steam numbers and not reflective of console numbers which makes up for the vast majority of gamers in general. Here's a breakdown of the percent of game platforms that earn money for the company from the last year directly from Ubisoft reports. Looking at the 2023 first quarter reports there was a mention of X Defiant as well as the Division Heartlands, a game that was cancelled since then. Reports from a quarter later in that same year mentioned X Defiant launching that fiscal year which wound up not being possible due to netcode issues. I wanted to highlight the challenges the game has been going through from a development as well as a business standpoint. How the game has been definitely affected by the business side of Ubisoft. The engine behind the game has essentially been a work in progress the developers are building for Ubisoft. They're essentially creating the tools that will be used in the future within the Snowdrop engine on any future Ubisoft titles. When we look at Call of Duty, the engine the game is running on has been built on with new features year after year with lessons learned applied to it. There's just been many iterations. Version 8, version 9, blah blah blah. And this is version 1 of the Snowdrop engine in terms of an FPS game. So they're having to really build upon it, learn their lessons. This could be proof of concept maybe that the Snowdrop engine isn't the best thing for FPS games in terms of performance with the netcode or whatever. You know, maybe it is. I think a lot of people have a fair point in saying that if it's taken this many years and this many dev teams and everything that maybe it isn't the right engine and maybe the people higher up that are just demanding that it happen, it has to be on this engine or whatever. You know, maybe they're just wrong. They don't want to admit defeat necessarily. And the game could be a totally different, way better experience with everything that it has going for it, except port it over to a different engine. They probably just don't want to make up for the money that they've already invested. It's kind of like a sunken cost fallacy thing going on. I don't know. At the end of the day, I just want to see improvements for the game. One big benefit of them having a smaller development team compared to like a huge massive development team is there's a smaller chain of command, communication can flow more freely. I don't know if you've ever heard of the telephone game where you say something and people whisper it and by the time it's been whispered across 20 people it's a totally different message than what was initially stated. So. That's one of the downsides of a larger company compared to a more streamlined, effective unit. So are you excited to hear about Search and Destroy, Kill Cams coming to the game? I'm honestly mostly excited about the spider bot changes coming. That sounds really good to me. Overall, I'm not really a huge Search and Destroy player. I might play it a little bit. You know, I feel like I just want new maps, I just want the netcode to continually improve. I want to see the sentiment around the game turn around and I'm going to keep giving ideas that I have that come up for the game as well as try to talk about whatever I think that may be thoughts that the overall population of gamers in general, whether that's the player base of this game, FPS enjoyers in general, 
I'm just going to try to give my thoughts to try to improve because when we have more options for FPS games, everybody wins. Hope everybody has a great day, though. I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.